friends. This last week, I spent the whole week putting together a large package to backstop and support some of the claims that I have made about being Chief Judge of the United States, Postmaster Hive in general, as well as Commander in Chief. In my findings, I need to bring some closure to the people of our country. Um, one of the things that is very concerning is these executive orders that people take seriously. And I'd like to talk about some of them because some of them are very concerning uh, when you not comprehend so much the style of the quantum grammar and parse syntax grammar, but the style of hieroglyphics. What that means is um, if you go to your federal styles manuals and you study how things are presented on contract and on paperwork, it's kind of wrong leading of the people if they don't know what's, what's actually these hieroglyphics mean. Some of the hieroglyphics that I'm talking about are quotations. Anything in quotes is removed from the page. Or italicized words, anything italicized is misspelled and not on the page. Another thing that is concerning is the use of what's called a long dash. A long dash means that uh, as someone is writing a paragraph and they use a long dash, it means to stop the thought and reconnect that thought when you find the next long dash. These forms of communication were developed by Sir Francis Bacon and under what's called arbitrary forms of ciphering. And there are seven forms of arbitrary forms of ciphering. But this style of communication, when you use the long dash, means to omit. So anytime you run into a long dash, you omit the words after it and then you connect it to the next long dash. So you stop your, your words and you go down and connect, finish the sentence somewhere else. So if you're an unskilled reader at long dashes, you will find yourself reading a different content than actually what is there legally on the paperwork. So one of the things that I found was in an executive order 37326, which was an executive order by safe policing communities. So they were talking about how do we keep our community safe? And they were talking about the use of deadly force using chokeholds by the police. So if you read the paragraph, specifically this is an executive order, and you can go check in the Federal Register, Federal Register uh, Volume 85, number 119, which was done Friday, June 19th, 2020. And so if you go to the second page, you can see the style of long dash and how uh, a, a gentleman by the name of Donald Trump is using a long dash in his style of writing. So you would think that the sentence reads one way, but actually it reads another way. And I'd like to read this, this nonsensical grammar that this man is articulating with. It says in paragraph II, the state or local law enforcement agencies use of deadly force policies prohibit the use of chokeholds. But right here it runs into a long dash. And now I have to go down to the next long dash. Except in those situations where the use of deadly force is allowed by law. Hmm. Now let's go back and see what was omitted and not actually in the sentence, but it appears to the unsuspecting eye that it is part of the sentence but it's actually not part of the sentence. It's actually been omitted. And this is actually giving the police officers and the police agencies an omission from what this actually says. So it says, choke holds, long dash, which means to omit. So you, but the unsuspecting eye will continue to read this. It'll says, choke holds, a physical maneuver that restricts an individual's ability to breathe for the pur purpose of incapacitation. Well, that's not actually what it says here. So they remove the definition of what a chokehold is and allows the police to now use chokeholds because that definition is no longer on the page, which now becomes a, 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 a threat to the people of this country. So this is done with a volition by this man who identifies himself as Donald Trump, which again is an adjective pronoun. So I'm going to publish this on Last Like Standing so you can look at the education as well as show, show, I can show you uh, where to go look in your federal styles manual to see the tricks and trap that this man is using against us. So it's actually, it is authorizing chokeholds to be used against we the people by the police department, not the other way around. So these are some of the concerning things that I have found. But 
lucky for the American citizens, Donald Trump has no authorization to be a president because the United States government ceased to exist in 1999. So thankfully, the executive orders don't apply to them or the police departments or anybody or any citizens out here because this is fraudulently conveyed language in a Ponzi scheme to trick the American people. What they've unfortunately done is moved into another scenario that I have found in their Ponzi scheme, which was created on March 31st, 1979. This is an executive order 12127. And this was an order for the what's called a fictitious organization called the Federal Emergency Management Agency, which is an adjective adjective pronoun. So there are no facts here. The good news for the American people is that the Federal Emergency Management Agency has zero authorization to exist as a corporation. So none of you will have to comply with anything that they do. So you don't have to go to their camps. You don't have to comply with, their, with, with anything that they are conveying upon you because the continuance of the evidence was broken in 1999, voiding the credentialing of FEMA or what's known as the uh, Federal Emergency Management Agency. So see, these are some of the scams that I will be posting so that the American people can take a look at the grammar, know that they do not have to comply with any of the grammar because this is nothing but tricks and traps to fool the American people. It is my job to give you closure. Thankfully, on September 17th of this year, 2020, I have put, put my mailings in place to secure our borders, as well as simultaneously take care of these fraudulent documents that will cause harm to the American people through their fictitious grammar and their trickery using these hieroglyphics of these long dashes. Please educate yourselves through the Federal Styles Manual and learn more about this. I will be giving closure. Please go to lastflagstanding.com and you can follow us as well on Instagram. Thank you very much. These are very concerning times and I'm looking forward to answering and giving many performances so that the people have truth because in the end, truth wins. Thank you very much.